Alrighty, so you guys know here in the Raw DAO, we are trying to figure out how exactly to track and report our contributions for the DAO. So I did just do a quick review on Coordinate and how peer to peer everybody can reward build to each other after they have separate meetings after they see somebody doing you know something great in the community something great on social media and you can go into coordinate and actually give build to each other you know allocate it to each other um so i think that's a really powerful tool but we do still have to do our big general allocation so what we've done so far is we usually have our brain here and in the brain we have our you can go to governance and see the Excel sheet that goes over everything that you can do and usually once people are here you know it goes over how much build you get for each task people would come here copy this form um, create their own document fill it in go back to the Google Drive go into the brain go to the weekly tracker and upload it here and their um, respective glow team as you see here so something that we've been trying to do is kind of minimize those steps so that people can do it a little easier so i have just added a new bot to the discord and we can give it a try so what i did is it's here in the task chat so you come to task and you see how before after our Friday meetings, because one thing we also do in the Raw DAO is we have meetings every single Friday in our think tank as a community. We talk about our goals and what we have to do next in order to accomplish those goals. So each GLOW team actually set out like a task or two that the entire community can help complete in order to help us achieve our mission, spread our messages, and continue to grow. So um, here you see it. Usually I just, you know, add that, that glow team and we'll bullet what their task is. So now I've added this cool task bot where we can actually do that in general. So to get that started, the first thing you can do in order to see all of the tasks. So first of all, if you press slash, this will pull up all the commands that you can do very easy I love how you can just press slash see all the commands so that you know all the stuff that you can do once you get here into built-in that is irrelevant to what we're doing so once you stop at unassigned you are good to go <laughs> so we are going to be looking at list all to get started so when you first get here if you want to see all the tasks you just press list all and it says status next once you press enter so you can press unassigned assigned or complete it I'm going to press unassigned, enter. It's thinking, and it's getting me a list here. Now, even if you've pressed unassigned, you see it still shows you the assigned task and the completed task. So here on our unassigned task, um, ignore this first part. I realize that you can't tag the rows here. But you see the first task is explore and find good spaces to be a part of. This should say educators and creatives create content and create content. This was just another testing one that I did. Um, assign tasks. This is a, these are all tests that I've done for this tutorial. So this assign task, this polished welcome letter, you guys seen that above. That's something CJ said that she's been working on. So I did assign that to CJ. Something that we can really utilize when certain people you know say that they're going to be the ones to complete certain tasks and once a task is on here you can even assign it after the fact um, and the last thing is completed which is something that I tried out to see again how this actually works so let's keep going so say you're here you see all the tasks available so you see okay we have explore and find good spaces to be a part of create content and create content so let's say um, for example one of our members just actually made a Twitter thread so he made some content right so now he wants to actually complete a task and say that he's completed that task so all you're gonna do is press slash you can see a list here if you don't remember but you're going to press complete or you can type it out now it's going to ask for a task id up here you guys see it's very simple it has the task how many days it was created and the id here so i'm going to simply enter that in here so it's going to be k040 enter it's thinking 
Oh, it says you don't own this task. Hmm. Okay, maybe I assigned it to someone. So that's why it's not letting me um, try it. Let me try again. Complete. Complete task. Let me try C Q 6 Thinking, thinking, thinking. And... It should say complete here in just a second. It's thinking a little long for our tutorial. Um, but it's that simple. Just complete and entering in that number there. And then it will pop up and it will say something here. Ta new task successfully created. Or if that's how you um, create it. Let me see. Create it successfully. Create it successfully. Where is the one that I successfully completed? Okay, here it is. So this is what you'll get once that's done. It'll say successfully completed task once you've entered in that task. So scrolling back down to the bottom, I'm not sure why it's thinking so long. But yeah, so you'll get that successfully completed task and that will be it. You can do that after you've done each task. That way you don't have to actually wait until the end of the week. Try to remember everything that you've done. Now this is where it gets really great. So say again, you've been adding these tasks in all week. And also one thing that I would like to say um, for this, I'm only going to be adding in our weekly task here because you can't actually have more than one person completing each task when you create them. Um, instead of kind of being redundant and actually putting all of these tasks there, I'm only going to be entering the tasks from our weekly meetings into these tasks. But if you do complete one of these other tasks, or again, say something that's not necessarily you know listed here, but again, you still complete, like for example, um, our workshop is this week, you know, so maybe you led a workshop, even though that's hosting educational spaces. Again, something where you think it's not exactly outlined here, but you still did it to contribute to the team. All you would do is add a new task and then complete it. So how that looks is you're going to use slash new. That's it. Slash new. Now you'll see it'll ask for the task. Here you enter the description. So again, say you host workshop space so now you're gonna press enter it says new task completed with your ID now again you're adding this because you've completed it so now you're gonna go right back in you're gonna complete task and now you see we've got that new number already a y t 9 complete send it off it's thinking again I'm not sure why the bots taking so long thinking about if these have been complete or not it was very um, fast initially before I started recording right um, but that's it complete enter that task number and then that's it now it will say successfully completed um, that task so now that we have a easier way to actually track all the tasks that have been completed what we're going to do next and this again takes out this step here on having to come in here and complete each day so you say okay well i've done this maybe you've done one thing every single day it's still a little spread out right so how do we go to reporting how many build we should have in total actually so this is where the last step is going to come in and this is what we should do every single Saturday. So again, throughout the week as you do tasks, drop it here in the task that it's been completed. On Saturdays, what you're going to do is you're going to go and you can actually see how many you've completed all in total. So what you'll do is you'll click slash and you'll hit list. This is not list all. You see list all the tasks and list all the tasks you have claimed. So not list all, just list. And then after you hit list, you'll see next it says status, okay? And you'll go to complete it. And then you just press enter. 
So now you see I have completed research um, pros and cons for where to host and I showed you guys that I had already completed that earlier. So I see that these new spaces have been created but it's still thinking about me claiming those new spaces. So uh, I think the bot is just going a little slow there but you guys still are getting the gist of it. So you see here it has all my completed tasks. So say it would have actually um, registered that I confirmed that I hosted this workshop and that I confirmed I completed the other task, those three tasks will be here and it shows all of the tasks I've completed there. So that's how you can get an update on what you've done. Uh, one thing I, I'd say to do as well is you know how many ta or how many build tokens each is supposed to represent. If you forgot, again, you can always go here to this chart which shows again you do this you get this mini build you do that you get this mini build so on Saturdays what we're gonna do is you go to your respective glow team mine that I represent the most is the educators so after I've added all those I'm gonna come here and put how many build tokens I should be allocated for this week I put 10 build tokens just for the sake of our um, recording that I'm doing now to be able to walk you guys through these steps so you see here I have 10 build tokens so this is letting all the educators know that I should get 10 build tokens for this week it's somewhere we where we can always look back and everybody sees that in our group now why this is important is because although that's all you have to do as a community member is track your tasks throughout the week and put however many build tokens you should have at the end of the week in your chat we also have other members who actually go through and again track how many we should be distributing for each group so say for example jose you know if he because he hosted some spaces as well he just joined the glow team so that's 50 points okay go pop close the door close the door <laughs> sorry about that so um again he just joined a glow team hosted a space and has joined events so you know say however many tokens he's supposed to get say for example he put 100 tokens here me as the one that said i will lead distributing the governance tokens for the educators say he had here 100 build right build tokens so i'm just going to put this here for him so say it's at 100 build tokens for Jose. Now me as Mokasa, I'll say, okay, 10 build tokens for Mokasa, 100 for Jose. Now I'm gonna come into Coordinate and, oh, here's my Coordinate I'm already logged into. So, oh, and Jose, actually, I, ha I have an added on here. So um, let me show you. Say it, instead of Jose, it was actually Austin. So say for Aust um, Austin, who's an educator, I would say, okay, he has 100 build tokens I'm getting lost there okay say again this is Jose Austin let me re 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 rewind <laughs> and this says Austin has a hundred build tokens again I'm the educator I'm the educator the lead educator for this space when it comes to distribution so it says Austin should be getting a hundred build tokens so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna come into coordinate I'm gonna add one right because we just click add click up to add one whenever we're adding anything so we're going to say 100 for and we can actually just put the date right here 3 20 22 that's how many he's gotten for this week that's it say next week he has a couple spaces and now he's getting 25 so next week you know after he's put it all in there he adds 25 build tokens right here I come here I say okay 25 should be added to Austin so I'll come here add another one go down and right here where we're adding we're gonna say okay 25 for the next week which is what 327 22 so we know right now he's up to 125 and this is how we're going to start saving and again you just hit save allocations and that's it so that's how we're going to actually be able to track it um one last thing when it comes to that for those members who are actually going to be verifying and adding this for each glow team into coordinate 
something you can do here like I said all the members are going to be adding theirs in here now luckily um, most of these teams are pretty small like you see there's only two of us here but see strategists there's four of them total right you have tiny elbow China and myself so um, them you know say tiny is the one who wants to distribute for these strategists now tiny you know maybe she sees I said I should get 20 build for the strategist elbow says they should get 50 build for the strategist and china says she should get 100. maybe tiny doesn't know what exactly they did in order to deserve these um so she wants to just double check right because that's the beauty of blockchain is that you can double check things that's why we're even trying to do things that you can go and double check and look into this so what she would do in order to be able to check other members and what they've completed in order to add their tokens so now we're going to go back to our task back to our bot here where we're, we can press our slash button um then we're going to see our list again right this is how we can check ourselves but you can also hit user instead of status now if we hit user now we can press add and I can do anyone like I said maybe I wanted to check check China if I was tiny adding hers so now I have China I press enter it says okay do you want to check her assigned unassigned or completed I want to check her completed I press enter and it will show me a list of her completed tasks we see taskbot thought very quickly that time and it shows she has no completed tasks but this is how she China, uh, someone like tiny who's leading for the strategist can come in and cross check for china if she wants to verify you know maybe she's seen like oh wait what i haven't seen her very active what does she do to get those 50 build tokens because i'm not saying um you have to you don't have to i think everyone in our community is responsible for themselves and we will be creating rules for when people take advantage and aren't being responsible instead so um, we'll talk more about that later in the future, but you know for the sake of it People will be responsible for themselves and we have other members in the community that will be cross-checking and Putting it in for them and if they need to we again have those channels for how we can still cross-check and make sure everything is adding up so that is how we will be using our new task bot and coordinate and tracking this decentralized way to actually incentivize the community so i will be making another review to keep you guys updated on how we are actually going through this because like i said we came from these few different excel sheets which i think is super clean um super easy especially i've added equations so it adds it all up for you but again there's still just too many steps having to have members come on here copy it add it in re-upload it to the brain um it's not as productive as we would like so we're going to try out this new task bot. we're going to try out coordinate and once we actually get our new smart contracts relaunched and our governance token um reactive it's going to be so exciting to have our rainy day and actually be able to redistribute that so in the meantime we are still all working hard stacking our rainy day fun bags and on our way to you know greatness with the raw dow so if you want to be a part all you have to do is join the the discord start completing tasks and help us reach our goals see you soon